Chairman of the African Union, Maki Sall, has warned Russian President Vladimir Putin that African countries are suffering from surging food prices as a result of Moscow's military operation in Ukraine. The talks aimed at getting grain supplies on the move again come as large portions of Africa already are grappling with drought and other problems. The Senegalese president reminded Putin that many African countries didn't condemn Russia's action in Ukraine despite strong pressure to do so. He said if you take Asia, the Middle East and Latin America, it means that there's a good part of humanity that is in fact very affected by what's happening. He said, it's in the name of all these hopes that I've come to see you, to ask you to understand that our countries, even if they are far from the theatre of action, are victims on an economic level. Putin hailed Russia's warm ties with African nations at the start of the talks in Sochi, but didn't mention grain exports. On his part, Sal sided with the Kremlin's view that Western sanctions have exacerbated grain and fertilizer shortages and called for the food sector to be left out of the sanctions. He said the sanctions against Russia have resulted in more seriousness since we are no longer having access to cereals from Russia, to wheat in particular and above all to fertilizers, while our agriculture is already in deficit and this is creating serious food threats. I spoke to the European Council on Tuesday, telling them, you say that there is a war crisis, but there are also sanctions, but we have to work together on both registers so that everything concerning the food component, cereals, fertilizers, be out of the penalties. The United Nations fears a hurricane of famine, mainly in African countries, which imported 44% of their wheat from Russia and Ukraine between 2018 and 2020. The African Development Bank says wheat prices have soared around 45% as a result of supply disruption.